Imagine a structure so massive that NASA scientists say it slightly slows the Earth's rotation. One so powerful that if it ever fails, 400 million people downstream, yes, nearly half a billion, could face an instant catastrophe. Welcome to the Three Gorges Dam, arguably the most ambitious, most controversial, and most awe-inspiring civil engineering project in human history. This isn't just the world's biggest dam, it's a ticking clock. Built on fault lines, surrounded by controversy, and powerful enough to slow the Earth's spin, and if it fails, cities like Wuhan and Shanghai could be underwater in hours. But here's the real question. Are we absolutely sure it's safe? Think about this. In 2020, record-breaking floods forced engineers to release water. Villages downstream were drowned, hundreds died, and yet, China insists the dam is flawless. Chinese officials call it an engineering miracle. Critics say it's a catastrophic disaster just waiting to happen. And what if I told you? Cracks may already be showing in satellite images. You're watching Construction Wars. And today, we uncover what they don't want you to know about the Three Gorges Dam. Hit that like button. Subscribe for more jaw-dropping stories from the world of extraordinary construction. But before we marvel at its gargantuan turbines and towering concrete walls, let's rewind. Nearly a century back, the year is 1931. Torrential rains pounded China's heartland and unleashed a devastating flood along the Yangtze River. Over 3.7 million lives lost. Some estimates say nearly 4 million major cities and endless farmland turned into a churning sea. A generation earlier, in 1911, another flood struck, smaller but still deadly. 200,000 people gone, countless villages vanished. So every year during monsoon season, millions of rural Chinese families lived in dread. Dread that the Yangtze might swell once more. Why did this keep happening? Because the river's deepest stretches cut through the Three Gorges, a narrow, twisting canyon where water could roar with unstoppable force. Every time the rainfall rose above the flood walls, the Yangtze burst free and swallowed entire towns. Something had to give, or an entire civilization would keep paying the price. Enter the Chinese government's grand vision build the largest dam the world has ever seen, not just to generate electricity, though that's certainly part of it, but to finally tame the fury of the Yangtze River, a dam so vast you could fit the entire nation of Singapore inside its reservoir and still have room left for thousands of high-rise skyscrapers. But how do you even begin to build a wall that can stop the world's third longest river between 1994 and 2003, Chinese engineers took on their first Herculean task, divert the Yangtze's water away from the construction site. They did it using coffer dams, massive temporary enclosures made of rock and earth that split the river and forced it to flow around the work zone. Only then could the real construction begin on dry ground. Meanwhile, 40,000 workers labored day and night blasting into the canyon's steep rock walls, carving out tunnels for the turbines of the future. Every single piece of steel, rebar, every cubic meter of concrete had to be shipped in by barge or by rail. And remember, this was deep inside a narrow gorge. No easy task over the next 17 years, from 1994 to 2011, they poured over 28 million cubic meters of concrete. That's enough to bury a small country like Switzerland under two feet of solid concrete. In the process, they didn't just build a dam, they created a megastructure unlike anything the world had ever seen. Once the concrete core was in place, the next challenge was installing 32 turbo generators, each weighing thousands of tons. These gigantic turbines, each capable of generating up to 700 megawatts, were lowered into cavernous underground halls carved into the rock walls. By the time the dam was fully operational in 2012, the Three Gorges Dam could produce 22.5 gigawatts of clean electricity, enough to power 4.5 million homes all year round. That makes it the single largest hydroelectric power station on Earth. 
surpassing even America's Grand Coulee Dam by four times in capacity and outpacing many nuclear plants. Put simply, you could run a small nation on the electricity it generates. So, tell us, how many of you have ever thought about the electricity behind your city's streetlights? Type light on in the comments if you want to see more mega projects like this. But flood control was the dam's original raisin. By holding back up to 39 billion cubic meters of water at peak reservoir level, the Three Gorges Dam can reduce the frequency of catastrophic floods from once every decade to roughly once every century. That means fewer cities like Wuhan and Shanghai being inundated during record rainfall. Plus, it completely transformed inland navigation. The Yangtze was once a treacherous, free-flowing river, only navigable by small boats during certain seasons. Now, a series of five ship locks and the world's largest ship lift can carry 3,000 ton vessels 113 meters up or down in under 30 minutes compared to four hours via the older locks. As a result, freight capacity on the Yangtze has skyrocketed by 600% in just two decades. That's a lifeline for inland cities whose entire economies depend on moving goods to the coast. All this stands as proof that the Three Gorges Dam is more than just a dam. It's a transportation and economic artery for central China. But with great power and water comes a great price. Let's talk about the social cost first. When the reservoir rose to its full level of 175 meters, over 1.4 million people were forced to leave their ancestral homes, farms, and entire villages. Imagine lifelong farming families uprooted, relocated to urban housing developments miles away, often with substandard amenities and inadequate job opportunities. Some received compensation packages, but many reported poor building quality, disconnected sewage lines, and the heartbreak of leaving behind burial grounds and cultural heritage. Then there's the environmental toll. Science had already warned flooding such a vast area would permanently alter local ecosystems. Over 17,500 square kilometers of farmland, forests, and wetlands sank underwater. Landslides, once rare in this part of the gorge, became common occurrences, damaging roads, washing out villages, and costing millions in repairs. Perhaps worst of all, the river's famous biodiversity took a massive hit. The Chinese river dolphin Baiji was last definitively sighted in 2006. Shortly before being declared functionally extinct, critics say the dam and intensified shipping sealed its fate. The Chinese paddlefish vanished too. Several endemic fish species now cling to survival as fishing patterns and water temperatures changed irreversibly. At what point do the gains of power and flood prevention outweigh these losses? Pause for a second. Would you trade your hometown for a promise of flood safety and cheap electricity? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Let's start a conversation. Now let's address the big question on everyone's lips. Is Three Gorges Dam safe? In 2021, satellite images circulated online showing a slight bowing shape to the dam's concrete face. Viral headlines screamed, cracks in the world's largest dam. A German-Chinese hydrologist was quoted alleging substandard concrete in some sections. Chinese state media swiftly dismissed these rumors, saying the images were algorithm artifacts from Google Maps and that controlled deformation, a few centimeters, is normal in any large concrete structure. Official inspections, they added, show no immediate danger, but skeptics remain uneasy. The dam's full reservoir capacity can add a pressure of 2,000 pascals per square inch on its face, enough to flex steel rebars over decades. Then came the 100-year monsoon of 2020. The Yangtze received its highest rainfall in 15 years, forcing operators to open spillway gates multiple times. Downstream villages still flooded, roads washed out, and experts question whether the dam truly offers foolproof flood protection. Consider this. If a dam failure ever did occur, whether by seismic tremor, landslide-induced wave, or uncontrolled overflow, the rush of 39 billion cubic meters of water would unleash tsunami-level devastation. Entire cities like Yichang would be wiped out in minutes. Up to 400 million people in the greater Yangtze Basin could lose homes, farmland, and lives in a single cataclysm. 
Despite the controversies, data from 2024 show the dam operating quite reliably, though only at around 45% of its theoretical maximum capacity year-round due to seasonal flow variations. During the dry season, water levels can drop too low to spin all 32 turbines at full speed. Interestingly, the Itaipu Dam in South America sometimes outperforms Three Gorges in annual generation because its river flow is more consistent. But China's engineers aren't standing still. They've started experimenting with AI algorithms to better predict seasonal yanks of flows, optimizing when to store water and when to generate peak power. Early studies suggest a potential 10% boost in annual output if AI models are fully integrated by 2026. There are also talks of building portage railways on both sides of the gorge. Rather than using just locks or lifts, these rail lines would carry entire cargo vessels or their containers overland around the dam. If implemented, this could reduce transit times by another 30% and lower shipping costs further. But as China embarks on future upgrades, AI control systems, portage railways, enhanced spillway designs, one question lingers. Is Three Gorges Dam a model for sustainable megaprojects or a cautionary tale of hubris? On one hand, it has prevented floods predicted to claim millions of lives and powered a nation's economic engine. On the other hand, that same basin holds entire submerged cities. More than 1,500 towns now lie 175 meters below the reservoir surface. As climate change intensifies monsoon patterns, record rainfalls could push the dam to its limits, flooding farmland millions of meters upstream, forcing even more emergency releases downstream, or potentially destabilizing the dam face. So, does the promise of abundant hydroelectric power and flood control justify the immense human and ecological costs? Or are we playing a dangerous game with nature itself? What do you think? Is Three Gorges Dam humanity's greatest engineering triumph or its most perilous gamble? Leave your verdict in the comments, triumph or gamble. And don't forget to hit that like button if you learned something new today.